So this is me at age 10, and I'm doing my best to try to clean this car so I could get out and go play with my friends. <laughs> now, what I'm doing right now may seem a little bit crazy, but I'm about to realize the number one business principle in my entire life. And like many life lessons, it all started with my dad. What on earth are you doing, son? Hey, my name is Russell Brunson, and I grew up in a small town in Utah with a mom and a dad who were really amazing, and I also had two older sisters and two younger brothers, and that was me smack dab right in the middle. You know, I grew up in a family where uh, everyone had to work hard uh, for what we wanted, and uh, we saw it from my parents, and then it also led down to us, and every single day we had to work hard at school, we worked hard at sports we were involved with, and then on weekends we worked hard at home making sure that everything was clean and, and ready for the week. Oh, Dad, just finished. Uh, can I go? I want to play uh, street hockey with the guys on the street. I don't know. Are you proud of it? I'm done. I didn't ask if you were done. I asked if you were proud of it. If you're proud of it, you're done. Um, let me just check real quick. I'll come and get you later. So this was my first introduction to the question that I'd end up living the rest of my life by. The question is, are you proud of it? You know, I think my dad um, believed that if you're putting things out there into the world, if you're not proud of it, then what does it say about you? What does it say about how passionate you actually are about what you're doing? Well, I'm proud of it. It's easy to be swayed to take the easy way out, especially when you don't see the benefits of what's the end result you're looking for. In middle school, I was on the wrestling team, and they'd have us go run with the varsity guys over in high school. Oh. You wrestle over at the middle school, Shrimpy? Yeah. The laugh can be brutal for slow folks like us. Don't worry, though. I know a shortcut. So at first, I would kind of go cut these corners with them. I remember always feeling just not good about it. And I think that was the second time in my life that I really understood the whole uh, the concept of, of are you proud of it? You want to be here all day? Just cut the corners. I'm good. Suit yourself. Later in our wrestling match, I saw the toll that cutting those corners had. He was doing fine at the start of the match, but about halfway through, he just got tired and was completely out of shape, and he ended up falling hard. Now I never cut another corner again after that moment. It just came back to the exact same thing. And this principle would serve me well into my adulthood. What's the word when you're, you're trying to achieve something, but it's like the end result of something you want to accomplish? What is that? A goal? Yes, thank you. Honey, why don't you take a break? I can't. I mean, my editor has been hounding me for this book for months and it's just not right yet. I mean, something feels wrong. So I've got to keep working on it. Good? Uh-uh. Good is the enemy of great. People deserve my best. I'd gotten about 200 pages into my new book called Expert Secrets, but the foundation wasn't right, and no amount of adjusting or wording or adding a sentence here or there was gonna fix that. Oh, Dad. I knew that I'd keep fiddling with it if I didn't do something drastic. So I did something brave and possibly a little bit stupid. Hey guys, so I know a lot of you were looking forward to my new book. Here it is, but guys, this is just not it. And you deserve my best, so. I promise you guys, hey, I, I know I'm, I'm seeing the comments and I promise you guys, it's gonna be my best work. But this, this was just not it. Okay. I spent the next eight months researching and writing the next edition of the book. And you know what? It was something I could be proud of. It's funny how the things your parents say to you when you're a kid can stick with you. But whether it's at work or with your family, I always ask myself and my kids, are you proud of it? When you do your absolute best, there's an amount of satisfaction you get that can never come from taking the easy way out.